However, no matter how many suitors came to ask for Zahara's hand in marriage, Amara was always quick to turn them down. All Amara could see whenever someone took a liking to her daughter was a vulnerable chick yearning for protection. Amara was still haunted by the memories of her stolen youth and the harsh judgment she received from other people in the past, fueled by her protectiveness toward her child. For this reason, every suitor was dismissed with a pointed remark or a veiled warning. Zahara was frustrated by the actions of her mother but resolute in her search for a worthy suitor. During all of this, not once did Amara ask her daughter who or what she wanted. As long as the suitors who came along didn't meet the criteria set by Amara herself, then they were not worthy of loving her daughter. Plus, she believed that she knew what was best for her daughter, so Zahara had nothing to worry about. On one scorching afternoon, when the sun was happily working over time, a new face appeared at the market square for the first time. His name was Kofi, a young farmer with sun-kissed skin and a warm smile, who had just moved to Ayana from a neighboring village. Kofi stood hesitantly before Amara's large stalls. His eyes, the color of freshly harvested yam, met Zahara's gaze. A silent exchange passed between them. A spark, unnoticed by Amara, ignited between them and it was the start of a memorable journey together. Kofi flashed a gentle and endearing smile at Zahara and Zahara smiled sheepishly in return, visibly playing with her locks as she did this. Kofi was immediately drawn to Zahara's laughter and gentle nature and quickly became a regular customer. He would linger around the stall, talking about his farm, his voice carrying a melody that resonated with Zahara. Amara soon began to notice Kofi as well, but she never thought for a second that he could be interested in her daughter. Amara liked him for his hard-working nature and polite attitude. For months, their attraction, their own little secret, blossomed like a small rose in a garden of thorns stolen glances under Amara's watchful gaze and whispered conversations under the cloak of the night where Al Zahara and Kofi communicated their affection for each other. Finally, one day, Kofi, emboldened by love and crafted a heart stone necklace for Zahara.